Here's a something for your cat. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Today's little project is a nice little stash buster, something that I designed eons ago. Uh, originally it was a topper for an EOS lip balm, but I made a whole bunch of them. My daughter took them to school for a birthday giveaway because they don't allow candy and all those kind of things, but that was years and years ago. But I had made so many, they ended up turning into cat toys because my cats found them and took them and they're scattered all over the house now. So I'm going to show you how to make this little guy into a cat toy. You're going to need, all I need is one big old jingle bell left over from Christmas. I bet you can find one somewhere. Everybody has a jingle bell somewhere. But if not, just get yourself a great big bell. And I've got a really nifty trick for holding the bell in place that I'll show you in a, just a few minutes. You want it, you'll want to see that. It's really, really, really sneaky. But I am going to use a four millimeter hook with some Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn. Uh, even though they want me to use a five, I'm going to use a four so my stitches stay nice and tight. And this is really easy. You can work this up in less than a half an hour. So let's get started. But first we're just going to make a magic circle. And if you're unfamiliar with the magic circle, I have a really fast and easy tutorial on my channel. It's only a couple minutes long because this is so amazingly simple to do. It's not hard or scary. Alright, so there's our magic circle. Now we're going to do four single crochets into our circle. And you know, I love my stitch markers, especially when I'm working in the round. So I'm going to mark that one. It's a little tricky at the very beginning because there's so few stitches. But there's number two, number three, and number four. Four little stitches. And then we're going to pull that. So we just have this little blob here. There's four stitches and I pulled it tight. Now we're going to increase. So this is going to be two stitches, two single crochets in every stitch that we just made into our magic circle. So we will end up with eight in round two. So four single crochets in our magic circle and then two in every one of those. So I'm going to go up to eight. And so then eight. Bam! Round two is done already. Round three is one more increase. So we're going to do a single crochet. Replace our marker. And then an increase of putting two single crochets in the next stitch. Then that's our sequence all the way around. So we're going to increase from 8 to 12. So there's a single crochet here and two singles in the next one. We're going to increase one more time for round four. Going to increase to 24. So that's going to be two single crochets in every stitch that we just made. So there's one, two, three, four, all the way around it's our sequence. And here's my last stitch in this round. We're increasing up to 24. And we just have ourselves a little circle. And now for the next three rounds, we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So there'll be 24 stitches all the way around times three rounds. So I will meet you after I have all three of my rounds done. And here's my last stitch. I've just done three rounds of single crochet. Each one had 24. And there we go. Pull my circle a little tighter. There. Just a cute little arc starting. And now here's my sneaky tricky part. Remember these things? you have kids or grandkids or you're a teacher or you're ever around a child, everybody knows what these little rubber bands are. They're for those rubber band bracelets that were really, really popular. We have thousands of these hanging around our house. They won't show, so if you don't have ones that match your project, it's okay. But I happen to have some purple ones, so I'm going to use them so they will match my project right here. 
So we are going to take out our stitch marker and we are going to go through the next stitch, put our two rubber tiny ipsy bipsy tiny little rubber bands on and single crochet through them. And we're going to do that all the way around. So here we go. Make sure you go through the bands and single crochet. The last few get a little tricky so you're going to have to stretch out because they're all bunched up. But you'll be able to do it. I've done this hundreds of times and it always works. And here's my very last stitch to make sure I get around those rubber tiny rubber bands. There. And now look at that. It's stretchy. I didn't have to reduce it to get it to be a little bit tighter because I still want some of those stitches. So there's the top part. Now we're going to make the bottom part. All right now for this round, I'm just going to do a very slight decrease. So the first one is a single crochet. And the next one is a single crochet. And then the next two is single crochet two together. All the way around. And there's my last sequence. There's a single and a single and single crochet two together. So, you know, it's all tight right in here. And I use two of them because our cats have claws. Our neck of the woods, they don't let you get your cats declawed. So we have cats with claws, and I figure two is better than one in case it breaks. So that's why I use two of those itty bitty little rubber bands. But there we go. All we have left to do is the legs. And it's the little octopus guy. So we're going to make eight legs. I take out my marker. And in the very first stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to replace my marker so that I know where that slip stitch is later. I'm going to show you this. This guy was a chain of eight, so he has little legs. This guy was a chain of 16, so he has really long, awkward legs, so he's kind of fun. And this one was a chain of 12, his curl perfectly. I'm going to show you a chain of 10, so you can always decide. As long as it's an even number, everything will work out just fine. So we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's funny. He's got a toy. <laughs> Coke is bringing me a toy. That's cute. So we turn over our chain. We're going to work in these little back bumps. The very first one right here. We are just going to do a slip stitch. Slip. In the next one, we've got two single crochets. One, two. And that's our sequence. So the third one here is a slip stitch. Two singles. And our very last one, and this little leg down here, we're going to do a slip stitch. Now we're Markers over here, so we want to make sure we start. We go the right direction, the proper directions. So we're gonna turn right here. The very next stitch is a single crochet, and then the next stitch is a slip stitch, and we're gonna build another leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then again, the same sequence. Start with the slip stitch. You'll start with the slip stitch and end with the slip stitch. Slip stitch there. Single crochet times two. Slip stitch. Single, single. And a slip stitch. 
Our next stitch on his body is a single crochet and then you jump over with a slip stitch and build another leg. And I'll meet you when I'm done with all of these legs when I get all eight of them on here. And there's my last leg. He's got eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I got eight legs, so it's perfect. We're going to just spin now these last few over to your marker are just slip stitches so you can finish off with a nice little edge. And I do like to slip into the one that has a marker so that the colors match when I'm using all these fun colored yarns like this. And we're done. To finish off, weave in your ends. And I was going to put the uh, little safety eyes on it, because these ones have googly eyes, of course. That's no that's no good for a cat or a dog. Oh, kitty's going to take that right off. I have googly eyes coming, the nice little ones for dolls, but they haven't gotten here yet, so that makes me sad that I couldn't show you that part. Now you just take your giant jingle bell. If you don't want to use a giant jingle bell, you can just put in some cotton or any other, any other toy that you already have and cover it up or some catnip, a little catnip pouch would be nice, but no. See? Stretches right in there and comes out easily because of our tiny rubber bands. Isn't that fun? So again, if you wanted to put any googly eyes on him, it goes right here in the last place where we just did our slip stitches. His eyes would be here because that's kind of his front. So there you go. Isn't that cute? I love this little guy. This was a chain 10 for his legs. This one was a 12. These two are my favorite. This one seems a little bit long and this one may be a little bit short. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Stop back soon. I've got some really fun stuff coming. Bye!